experience some sort of stress. <laughs> Everybody, right? So I'm sure we can all uh, I'm sure we can all relate to the overwhelming feeling of helplessness. And by the end of my speech, I hope to give you all a better understanding of what stress is, some common symptoms of stress, and how we can identify it, the most common, the most popular causes of stress, and how we can deal with stress in our lives today. So what is stress? Stress is defined as the body's way of reacting to any type of demand. So what this means is anytime something is asked of us, our body sends off certain chemicals that give a person more energy or sometimes strength. And most of the, so there's good stress and bad stress. Most of you have heard of the fight or flight response. The fight or flight response is a perfect example of good stress because when the, like I said, when the body is stressed we release chemicals. So when we are when there's a physical threat, we can overcome it by the fight or flight response. Now, if, it, if stress is caused by something emotional or something we can't alter in any way, then this can become really, then this can become a very, a very, <laughs> this can become an issue for our mental and physical health. So, since stress affects everyone differently, it's hard to pinpoint the exact symptoms of it. So I've narrowed it down to the most common. The first one I want to talk about is the inability to concentrate. So this is when somebody feels like they're always thinking about what they're stressed about, keeping them from some certain work at hand. And this, become, this can become an issue. The next one is agitation or the inability to relax. So this can be when somebody just feels like they always need to be doing something and they can't just sit down and watch TV or something. The next one is nausea or dizziness. This is when someone becomes actually physically ill due to their stress. They might get stomach ache or, or headaches. And the last symptom is irregular sleep patterns. So if you notice yourself sleeping more than usual, sleeping less than usual, or maybe you wake up in the middle of the night, this can be all signs of stress. And I got this all from healthguide.org. Now, I'm going to go over the most popular causes of stress. The first one is family. I'm sure most of you have experienced some sort of family stress, whether it's getting the kids ready for school every day, or maybe you have an outstanding argument with your parent, parents. The next one is life changes. And by life changes, I mean like a divorce, a recent death, a pregnancy, or a marriage. Now, even though some of these life changes can be positive things in your life, they can sometimes bring some extra responsibilities or expectations that you might not be ready for. Another one is work. No matter how many jobs you've had or where you work, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. One thing is always guaranteed, and that's that you're going to have to meet the expectations and demands of the employer or you're going to get fired. So if someone feels like they can't meet certain demands at the workplace or they feel like they're overworked, then this can be very stressful for them. And the last one is a big one, it's money. CNN has done a poll in over 16 different countries, and it concluded that money is the number one cause of stress in citizens. And I know we can all agree that we can all, we can all think of a time when we thought, how am I going to pay for this, or how I, need, I really need to get that bill paid. And we, and we just all know that financial issues are never fun. So, how can we deal with stress? First thing, easy one, workout. If, when you work out, your body releases endorphins, and that's been proven to lower stress levels. So even if it's just a 20 minute walk a day, that should help lower your stress levels, and to be getting in shape, so it's a win-win. The next one is identify your stressors. So if you know what is stressing you, and you can, you can try to either invite, you can either try to avoid it entirely, or try to alter it to where it, it, it brings you a little less stress. And the last one is learn to relax. You know, relaxation is a proven method of lowering stress levels. So if you just take a few minutes out of your day and maybe listen to some of your favorite songs or take a bath or maybe just lay in your bed for a few minutes and just try to let your mind go blank. And 
they got all this information from WebMD. So the next time you feel like you're just there's too much going on, you can't go on any longer, you're too overwhelmed, I want you to sit back, relax, give yourself a few minutes, try to get, some, get try to get in a positive mindset, and just keep on going because it'll it'll work out in the end. And I hope everybody has gotten a little something from my speech that they can take home and and uh, put put to use in their everyday life because stress affects everybody.